All right, so in the previous video, we created this session message to show to the user when they create a post. Now we want to turn this into a component. So we learned about components when we created our layout and we used the PHP artisan command to create one. Now let's just create our flash message manually. So inside the components folder, let's create a file. I'm going to call it flash msg or flash message.blade.php. And in this file, we want to create a p tag where we have our message. So I'm just going to hard code it for now and then add some flashes. All right, so just simple classes here. So let's see how it looks. So in our dashboard, maybe right under the h1 we can render that and we already know how to do this we can just use x dash and then the name of the component flash msg and let's just self close it like this so this is our component right here but of course we don't want to hard code this message so we need to pass a prop here or an attribute so in a laravel anonymous component to define props we can use a props directive that would take an array of all the props we expect. So we expect a message, let's call it MSG, and this element inside this array becomes a variable in our component which we can use. So in between these two p tags, we can use that variable. Now, if we actually go back to our website, we get this error that says message is undefined because we are not passing it to our component. So where we are calling the component, we can add that attribute or prop. So we called it MSG and the value for it could be anything. So if I just pass hello here, we get of course that text, but we want to use this session message. So let's just copy this and paste it here. Now I want to move this inside this div on the div itself. I'm going to add some margin bottom and get rid of this P tag. All right. So now we have our component that has this message attribute or prop. Let's test this out. So we want to create a post. And there we go, that's our message. Now to make this even more reusable, we want to be able to pass the background color. So if it was an error message, we want to change it to red. So we want to make this background dynamic. So instead of passing the text like this, we want to just be able to change that. So we can accept another, I'm gonna call it BG. And instead of hard coding the background, I'm gonna get rid of this. And then I'm gonna add that background in curly brackets right after my last class. So let's see if this works. In the dashboard, we want to pass the attribute BG and we want to pass the tailwind background colors here. So let's say BG, I don't know, yellow 500 or 600, whichever color you want. So let's save this and test it out. Let's create a post and there we go, it's yellow. Now, if we don't pass this, we would get an error because there is no value for this BG. We could have default values for our props in our components. So where we have the prop and we want to have a default value for it, we can turn this into an associative array. So this variable, which is our background, should have a default value of BG green 500. So by default, I want my component to have a green background. So let's go back to dashboard and get rid of this attribute on our flash message component. So we have only the message. Let's go back to the website, create another post, press create. We get the green as the default value. And if we bring back that yellow color and create yet another post, we get yellow. So that's how you can have default values for your props in your component.